Hello everyone, my name is Sofia and today I'm going to have an interview with Dr. Gerard. We are going to talk about heart disease. Hello, Hello Sofia, thank you so much for welcoming. So could you please tell us what are the warning signs of heart disease? The most uh, common, Sophia, the warning sign of heart disease is chest discomfort. So any person who is having a chest discomfort and uneasiness in breathing, he should uh, once think about heart disease. And uh, the second uh, common cause, uh, the second common symptom is nausea and vomiting that can happen to patients with heart disease. Then uh, pain which is radiating to arms is a very common symptom of heart disease. Pain radiating to jawbone is also a common symptom of heart disease. Then getting exhausted is easily, like if you start running, you climb stairs and you, are, uh, you get exhausted very easily. That is also one of the signs of a heart disease. And uh, cough which is not getting treated even after taking antibiotics or any, any kind of treatment, then also one should consider it that as heart disease. Yes. Is heart disease an irreversible condition? So if your heart disease is an irreversible condition, heart di reversibility of heart disease depends upon reducing the risk factors. Like if you have a, having angina, do you have any uh, vessel disease, then reducing the risk factors such as smoking, exercising regularly daily can reverse your heart disease. So yes, it is a reversible disease. And is it hereditary? Heart disease is also hereditary, like um, many, many, many cases if your parents have died of heart attack, there is a more predominant chance that you will have a heart disease or a heart attack. So and various other uh, things uh, which are associated with hereditary like is high blood pressure, which is a hereditary thing, is also associated with the increased risk of heart disease. And uh, many uh, congenital abnormalities of the heart which are hereditary are also there, yes. So heart disease has a hereditary influence, yes. Does smoking can increase uh, the risk of having this heart disease? Smoking substantially increases the risk of having a heart disease. Uh, basically smoking increases the risk of heart disease by contributing to atherosclerosis. Atherosclerosis is nothing but hardening of the vessels of the heart. After there is hardening of the vessels of the heart, there are more chances of having a heart attack or angina or a vessel disease. So smoking by causing atherosclerosis is one of the predominant uh, risk factors uh, for heart disease. The second thing smoking does is leads to increased blood pressure and uh, increased blood pressure can lead to uh, heart disease, yes. Is hypothyroidism a risk factor? Hypothyroidism per se is not directly related but yes it is one of the risk factors for heart disease because uh, hypothyroidism is not a direct risk factor, it's an indirect risk factor for heart disease. Basically, hypothyroidism leads to increased blood pressure. Increased blood pressure can lead to heart disease as we all know. So in that way, it can cause a heart disease. The uh, second thing is this uh, uh, cholesterol can get deposited more easily in vessels in patients with heart disease, in patients with a hypothyroidism. So it is an independent risk factor for heart disease, yes. And thus being uh, overweight can uh, increase the risk of having heart disease? Directly over being overweight can also lead to a heart disease. The reason for that is the more the weight is, the more the blood supply is uh, required. So once uh, more blood supply is required, the heart has to pump more. Once the heart has to pump more, it, the blood pressure has to rise. Once the blood pressure rises, it uh, leads to heart disease. So obesity in this way can cause to uh, cause heart disease. Second, obesity can also lead to hypercholesteremia. Hypercholesteremia, as we all know, it's basically deposition of it leads to deposition of cholesterol in the vessels and can lead to heart disease. Is salt can be bad for your heart? Salt uh, directly cannot lead to a heart disease, but yes, it is an independent risk factor. Taking high amounts of salt or sodium, they lead to high blood pressure, as we all know. High blood pressure in a way is always a risk factor for heart disease. So again, high blood pressure leads to makes heart pump more. Once it pumps more, uh, there are chances of heart disease are more in people who take high salt diet, yes. How important is diabetes as a risk factor? Diabetes is itself an independent risk factor for heart disease. Basically, uh, what diabetes does, it leads to increased glucose levels in the body. 
these increased glucose levels in the body lead to damage of the vessels these damage of the vessels need to lead to formation of atherosclerotic plaques in the heart these plaques can later lead to a heart attack or it can lead to a vessel disease so diabetes is an independent risk factor for heart disease can the stress cause the heart disease Yes, stress, uh, it's a very nice question, Sophia. Stress, although we don't consider it as a factor in heart disease, but now it's a, considered to be a very important factor. The reason for that is what stress does in body is basically it leads to increased inflammation in the body. Increased inflammation in the body leads to two things. It leads to constriction of the vessels, which promotes, which increases hypertension. Hypertension can take, again lead to heart disease. The second uh, infl increased inflammation in the body can directly damage the vessels also. So in that way it can lead to stress, can lead to heart disease, yes. Can you tell us uh, how heart disease is related to strokes? Heart disease and strokes are two related diseases. They, because increased risk of uh, heart disease is also increased risk, uh, leads to increased risk of uh, stroke. The reason uh, for that is that people with the, uh, heart disease usually have a dilated heart. When you have a dilated and enlarged heart, the chances of clots forming inside the heart and traveling to brain is more. So stroke is basically nothing but it is obstruction of uh, the blood supply to brain. So in that way, a, a cardiac uh, disease can lead to a heart disease, yes. And what happens if a heart disease is left untreated? The heart disease, they say if it is a severe heart disease and it is left untreated in a patient, 90% of the patients die within one year of the heart disease. So it's not uh, that uh, if you have a heart disease, if you have any symptom of heart disease, you should always consult a physician or your uh, GP for that. We are taking an aspirin a day can reduce the risk of having heart disease. Taking a aspirin a day should not be done without consultation of a doctor. Taking aspirin a day, usually in low doses, low doses means around 75 milligram a day. It leads to reduced uh, risk of heart disease by thinning the blood. Once the blood is thin, it can easily travel to the heart. Even if you have small uh, clogs in the heart vessels, still it can travel through those clogs. So in a way, it leads to uh, reduced heart uh, diseases. But uh, usually aspirin is only recommended to the patients who already have had a heart attack before, who already had a, a stroke before. So it is only recommended, only after the uh, recommendation of the doctor you should take aspirin and they, uh, they usually suggest aspirin only when there are associated comorbidities for heart disease. Can exercise make your heart stronger? Exercise is a very, very important factor in making the heart stronger. It uh, does it directly and indirectly. Directly uh, what uh, exercise does is it dilates the blood vessels. When the blood vessels are easily dilated, and the chances of getting a blockage in the vessels is less. So exercise in that way leads to uh, reduced heart disease. And there are various other factors by which it makes heart stronger. It makes the heart pump more blood. It reduces hypertension. So indirectly also, a lot of ways exercise can help you reduce the risk factors for heart disease, yes. Can you recommend us the best herbal remedy for heart care? There are various uh, local and herbal remedies that are uh, available for heart care. The foremost and four common is cinnamon, if you have heard of cinnamon. Mm -hmm. Cinnamon is one thing which basically reduces the total cholesterol level and it uh, reduces the risk of heart disease. The second thing is cardamom, very common things. But still, cardamom reduces uh, the uh, chances of blood clots, it's a blood thinner. So it in the indirectly helps in reducing the risk of heart attack. And there is uh, garlic and ginger available in the routine cooking, which uh, they both reduce the blood pressure and uh, lead to uh, independent, uh, they, are, they reduce the risk of heart disease. Then curcumin, curcumin is one thing which is very important. Basically it has many roles. It reduces inflammation in the body. So indirectly it leads to lesser risk of heart disease and uh, it decreases the chances of having blood clots. Then there is barbanine. That barbanine is a substance uh, which uh, reduces the LDL level and uh, reduces HDL level. HDL level is the good cholesterol, LDL is the bad cholesterol, we call it. So indirectly, it also leads to improvement in heart disease. So for the combination of all these things, uh, we have already formed a combination which is called as a heart care kit, which is available at ACA. That is allergic Ayurveda that is available at. So you can buy it from that.
So that is one treatment I recommend in herbal, which is available for heart disease. And what is the duration of this treatment? Uh, Sophia, the, the actual duration of this treatment is almost three to six months. But again, it depends upon the severity of the disease. Because herbal treatments usually do not have any side effects, so if uh, you have to, you might have to take it for a longer period of time. But anyway, the side effects are not there, so you don't have to worry about that. Thank you, doctor, for uh, joining us Thank today you, and uh, giving us so much information about the heart disease. We know how much herbal treatment can help us out. If you would like to receive the treatment, you can order it from our website or contact us at the below mentioned number.